Hello, people. Welcome. This is Dan, and we are starking. Eh, start starking. No, we're starting. Start ting. <laughs> we will be starting Darkestville Castle. I am going into this pretty much blind. I will not be reading the uh, the store description for this until I start editing the video. So. All I know is that this is an adventure game. It's kind of got like a, uh, I don't know, like a Halloween-ish vibe to it, at least from what I can tell right now. And um, yeah, I think this is gonna be a fun one. Hopefully it's not too, <laughs> it's not emotion heavy. I've, I've played three emotion heavy games back to back and I kind of need a bit of a break from it. So hopefully this will be that. So, uh, enough of my banter. Let's, uh, let's get into it. I'm pretty sure that's what you want to, you came here for, right? Right. Start a new game. What's cat mode? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do normal. I don't know what cat mode is. Ooh, cool. Darksville nice Town was a calm and warm place. But sometimes towns change, and this was the case. One night occurred the strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a fallen star. The townspeople saw this, and their surprise was big. Inside the fallen star was a demon baby named Sid. He was special, not like the average kid, with a creepy look and always chaos amid. <laughs> Each year that passed, he showed without rest that his demon nature was on manifest. Mischievous, chaotic, always causing pain. The problems of others for him were a game. Rhymes on point. He grew with time, and something I can say is that when evil starts, only evil will stay. Bars. Here is when Sid's adventure starts to extend. But just keep in mind, he doesn't have a happy end. Oh, spoiler. Oh, no, do not skip the movie. Uh. Nothing's going on here. Oh, <laughs> whoops. I guess this is the pre-credits, um, just like with the movies. Is that the movie that it was talking about? Well, this is going to be interesting. I wonder if we're going to end up playing Sid. Music's got a nice vibe. It kind of sounds like something you'd see in, like, I don't know, um, the Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas or something like that. Maybe. Kind of got a little bit of Danny Elfman sounding. I approve! Yep. Another wonderful night to be a demon. Isn't it, Mr. Buttons? Oh, I agree. Now let's see what's on the agenda of evil tonight. Evil? Let's see. Uh, here it is, Wednesday the 7th. Sneak up on the Hamanson's daughter and cut her braid. What? Check. Already did that last week. Oh. Doubt it's grown back. Create Probably an not. army of giant mutant chickens to terrorize the farm. Eh, that one didn't quite work out last time. The villagers managed to kill all the chickens and use the excess meat to feed the kids at the orphanage. Hungry little bastards. So let's just skip that until I perfect a non-edible cyborg chicken or something. Make Miss Barbara's pies go sour. Mm, better not. I'm starting to think that old bat's developed a taste for sour pies. I swear she's playing me. Feed laxative-laced bird seed to the local pigeons so they wreak havoc on town. All right, yeah, that one sounds pretty great. Surrender, Sid. Your nights of evilness are over. What's that? 
Sounds like Dan Teapot yelling at my door again. This time it is over. For realsies. For realsies. There's no escape from this one. None of your tricks will save you. No more Sid the Demon terrorizing the town. Yep, that's Dan. Not I better me. get rid of him quickly. Who knows what annoyances that nagging insect is cooking up. Definitely not me. Although I, I can be a nagging insect. Prelude. Old enemies. This is really atmospheric. Gets me... Gets me right into it. Oh. Grab. Look. Talk. Can you I'm talk? not the kind of guy who talks to the moon. <laughs> can you grab it? I can almost touch the sky is a metaphor. Indeed. A wonderful night to be evil. Evil. I like how he pronounces that. It's my bed lamp. All right, let's uh, grab at it. It's Turn too it heavy on. to carry around, and it's okay where it is. Come on. It's my nightstand with a drawer full of evil plans, and my diary, also full of evil plans. <laughs> evil plans. I don't want anything from there. Well, not now. Oh, this is Mr. Buttons. Take it. What? You want to stay in the bedroom? He wants to stay in the bedroom. I don't care. Okay. It's broken. I removed the cuckoo to make a homing missile a long time ago. Now it's just <laughs> full of cogs and gears. Damn, that's uh, that's an imagination there. The lid there. is screwed to the clock. I can't open it with my bare hands. I wonder what his face is. Kind of reminds me of a skeleton, but the, his hands and feet aren't skeleton-like. Big book. It's the ultimate guide to giving toasts. It's a really long book, but it gives good advice. My toasts are so much better now. Oh, I, I'd like to make good toast. You know, sometimes the toaster just doesn't do it just, just right. I've already read this book twice. I think I need to let it stew a little before I go in for round three. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Let's grab this cane. A gentleman has no class if he doesn't have his cane. To the hall? Bathroom? It's the door to my bathroom. I locked it because I have problems sleeping if it's not nice and secured. I, uh, I'm afraid of the toilet monster. What, you never heard of it? That's probably because it's a product of my imagination. I know, I have problems. No, everyone else has problems. You have solutions. <laughs> Books. And eh, let's go to the hall. It's kind of cool. It's different that this is like... look Looks like it's 2D. Rendered in such a way, too. Drawers. In these drawers, I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions. Oh, anything in there worth taking? I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions in here. Nonetheless, the only thing I found inside that is not broken or useless is this multi-bit screwdriver. With no bits at all. Well, that's kind of useless. Domingo. It's my lovely fish, Domingo. He knows how to do some cool tricks, like act like a fish or splash but usually it's super ineffective that's because you got to use it against a fire type bro water type is only good for fire types it's a loud bicycle horn i love this thing i almost gave mrs johnson a heart attack with it but we can't take it it's screwed to the bicycle uh yeah no bits on the screwdriver okay Let's go to the kitchen. I'd rather not open it. The giant rat could escape and bite me. But the rat's here. Okay, well. We'll move on for now, I suppose. Yeah, there's another... That's right in... Blah, 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 blah. Basement. The yard. Hungry wolf jail lever. <laughs> Okay, well, we're not going to do that right now. I'm sure we use that later. The basement door is locked. Why is everything locked, bro? Open it. 
To open it, I'll need the basement key. Why do you not have the key already? Trap door lever. Pull it! Goodbye, Dan. Wait, why isn't this working? I should check the engine in the castle basement. But the basement needs a key. Release the wolves! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Ha! Um, shouldn't there be a bunch of screaming, howling, and general chaos right about now? Yes. Wait. Probably has something to do with the fact that I forgot to feed the wolves. Uh oh. Throughout the entirety of winter. Whoopsie. Yeah, I don't think that goes very well for them, does it? Dan Teapot. Okay. So this is you. Dan Teapot is holding the door from the other side. I should talk to him. Eh, if we have to. Don't try anything funny, demon. Today your evil existence ends. You are not going out. I will trap you inside your castle. Hmm. Did you notice that you are blocking the entrance to my castle? Is it a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? How many times have we been through this? Why don't you go away? I have diabolical schemes to follow. Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. Bah, forget it. I think he doesn't move unless we use the actual trap door, so I don't think it means anything if we say any of this stuff. But, if it were me, I would say this. Why don't you go away? I have diabolical schemes to follow. Ha! <laughs> forget it. Your nights of evil deeds are over. You're not leaving this place. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Did you notice that you're blocking the entrance to my castle? I know. It's a part of my brilliant plan to end your demonic deeds. Woohoo! Isn't it a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? First of all, it's never too late for me. I'm the relentless protector of Darkestville. It's 11 p.m. 11 p.m. already? Oh, Wednesday. Oh, gosh. Well, maybe it's a little late, but I'm on a mission, so I will stay. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, Poindexter. How many times have we been through this? 146 times. You counted? 147 if we count the time you dressed as a girl in order to seduce a giant monkey to turn it against me. Wait, <laughs> didn't mean Anna and I are not the same person. She's a long lost, charming, absolutely female cousin. You don't have any uncles or aunts. Exactly. That's why she was lost in the first place. Uh. Okay. <laughs> sure. Cross dresser. Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. Ooh. You can't hurt me. You're locked inside your castle. You do realize that you're standing on a big trap door with an X on it. <laughs> do you take me for a fool? I already sabotaged the trap door mechanism and locked the basement door. And you can't repair it. He's got me there. Give me the basement key. Give me the basement key. No. Oh, come on. Open that door. No. Nah. No way. Tonight your villainous leg at the end. Oh, wow. He's got a lisp. Which key did you use to lock the basement door? This one. Yoink. Thanks. Hey, that was my <laughs> key. Ah, I don't care. You can't fix the mechs I made down there anyway. This trap door is still useless. Let's see about that. Oh, we will foil you. Do you have the missing part of the trapdoor mechanism? I will not fall for that again. Today is your end. You are not leaving this place. What is your plan? Starve me to death? Because I have plenty of food here. I'm not telling you. You know, you shouldn't have fallen for it in the first place, bro. Ah, forget it. You will never leave this castle again. You will never leave this castle again. <laughs> Alright, well, we've got the key. So we'll use this key on the basement door. And now we go down. Evil to go down. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. Yeah, Dan Teapot it. has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. 
Okay. Well, we're not going to talk to it. I saw a key over here, though. Oh, look! There's uh, the screwdriver bit. We'll take that. Yoink. I should be more careful where I leave my tools. Indeed. And we'll take this key as well. I'm happy to have the key to my bathroom. It would be terrible to be locked at home without the bathroom available. Oh my god, would it ever. Alright, can we combine? Now I have a fully functional screwdriver. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yes, sir! Hey, I found Waldo. And he is dead. <laughs> the, the joke is, where's Waldo? You guys get it? You get it? The mechanism you get it? is simple. Someone steps over the trap door, I activate the trap door lever, and the dope falls through a system of pipes to end up in this jail. Ah, uh, in this jail? It's my research about cybernetic ducks. Oh, that's Turns the one out, we need to get cybernetic going. Cybernetic ducks are a horrible idea. Why? That's why I'm building a cybernetic chicken. Oh, okay. It's a robot chicken. <laughs> a not quite finished cyborg chicken. It still needs a soul in the soul slot to work, if my theory is correct. Soul? Well, you can just go to the record store, right? Get some soul. Old evil plans and research about a variety of things is inside those boxes alongside my old toys. What do you consider an old toy? There used to be a sandwich inside. Oh. It's empty. I think Dan stole my sandwich. Jackass. Alright, well, let's go to the bathroom. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Uh, let's see. This way. Here we go. Do whatever you are. Also use the bathroom. <laughs> that says king on the bathroom. And this is his throne! Laundry it's a treasure chest, and it contains the treasure of storing dirty clothes in an organized way. Organized? Really? I don't want anything from there. It's full of dirty clothes. It's all dirty. <laughs> like these shorts, maybe? I don't want to break the short. How the hell did that end up here? Is that even physically possible? It doesn't even look like it would fit you, my guy. It's a regular bathroom tap. Let's turn it on. Yep. I'm gonna be evil and have you just have the water running. It's me. Talk to me. I can't talk to that. Why not? It's you, bro. It's, it's you. okay where it is right now. Eh, you're no fun, bro. It's locked and glued with some kind of sticky stuff. Ew. Bathtub. It's full of oil. See, I was expecting this shipment of penguins that I planned on oiling up and releasing back into the wild, but they never showed up. Oh, that's too bad. Just, just too bad. Just, just too bad. Non-abrasive non soap. Non-abrasive soap for my delicate skin. Oh, you're just a big softy. Now I can wash my hands properly. But, but why would... Well, well, I guess we'll figure out why we need that later. Toilet. Shall we make a deposit? The true frozen throne. Oh. Just the fleshy flush. I read them when I don't have anything else to do. Oh, look. The reward for us is a million whatever the currency is. One million. I can't talk to that. Whoops. I like it where it is. Okay. But we can use the screwdriver on this clock. Don't worry, it was already broken. Indeed, but we can take a, a cog now. Take it. I hope I didn't just void the warranty on this thing. Bro. Yeah, you probably bro voided the warranty when you took the cuckoo out of it. You know, they don't they don't like stuff like that when you take it apart. You had to take it apart to get the cuckoo, right? 
All right, let's see. Cogs. Perfect. Perfect. All right, now let's use the trap door. This isn't working. I should check the engine in the basement. What? Did I need to do something else? I already fixed the cogs, but the chain is still missing. Oh, it needs a chain. Okay. That I did not know. Uh. Hidden lever. Wait, what was that? Okay, well, it pounds whatever is in here. Oh, old coat. Old It's coat. full of holes and stinks. I wonder why I haven't burnt the thing already. No one knows when you're going to need a coat with this crazy weather. Even if that... And full of holes. Oh, and stinks. Ugh, stinks. That's on you. Grab the bicycle horn. Come to me, my instrument of eternal terror. Ooh, here we go. Bicycle chain. Take it. To the inventory you go. Indeed. Like everything else. Alright, now we've got the bicycle chain. We can use it on the machine. The chain fits, but it's going to need some lubricant. It's way too rusty as is. Oh. Alright, well... I think we can use the the bathtub full of oil uh, because that's a lubricant oil. It's oily oil, but it's not olive oil. Olive oil. Okay, use the chain bathtub. Woohoo! Now it's properly lubed. <laughs> Lube. <laughs> I'm on the same wavelength as you, bro. I'm really enjoying this right now. I hope you guys are as well. Having some fun. Seems very lighthearted, which I am totally into right now. Alright. Presto. Presto changeo. All right, let's look and see if there's a... Uh... The trapdoor mechanism is functional and ready to work. Yay. All right, now we're good to go. Use trapdoor. Hey, Dan, let me out. Ha! You'll never be able to... <laughs> Hi, Dan. Would you care to explain this whole trapping me in my castle business now? Ha ha. You think you've defeated me, but I've won. Fascinating. I find your claims tenuous at best coming from inside of a jail cell. I have delayed you enough here. They are already in town. Oh. There's no escape now. Who are they, and why would I want to escape from them? Have you been sneaking mushrooms out of my gardens again? Ooh. I told you those are for my alchemical experiments. Sure. You don't get it, do you? Nope. No idea what you're talking about. I've hired the Romero brothers. <gasps> The most infamous demon hunters alive are coming for you. They've long been here by now. There is truly no escape for you. They'll track and hunt you down. Okay, I'm they done are gasping. the best of the best. I've kept you from getting a head start on fleeing. Like I said, I win. You're done. Sure. Oh, come on, you moron. Don't you realize that it's the villain who's supposed to give their whole plan away with overly detailed <laughs> monologues? You've gone and messed up our whole dynamic. You don't get it? The Romero brothers are the best, and they will never do it! Silence truly is golden. Now then, let's analyze this little situation I found myself in. A team of demon hunters are, well, hunting me. That's what they do. It's kind of flattering that the so-called best of the best are after me. Oh my. Eh. Well, if these Romero brothers want a war, then I'm going on the offensive. Okay. I'll need to go downtown to check them out. And give them a warm welcome to Darkest Hill. 
I should probably quit wasting time with maniacal laughter and get going. I've got a lot of work to do after all. Uh, why can't you do both at the same time? So I'll make a neutron bomb and hide it inside a cheesecake. Okay. No, 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 no. That's really impractical. Yeah. I don't have enough cheese. Good evening, little fellow. Is that Darkestville Castle? What? What kind of question is that? You're in Darkestville, and that's the only castle. Okay, now, then. please mind your own business. I'm you really dumb. busy right now. Okay, team. You hear the man. The demon should be trapped inside. Let's do our job. To the hunt. Oh, they're the Romero brothers? That looks like a woman, yo. What was I saying? Ah, yes. So let's discard the neutron bomb cheesecake. What about a neutron bomb inside an apple pie? And put it what in McDonald's. With that giant rat inside the kitchen, I can't bake anything. Oh. Okay. All the plans involving cooking are null. Man, that's like half my repertoire. <laughs> The job is done, sir. That demon is now inside our prison chest. It won't be bothering you again. <laughs> we received your payment in the last letter, so I think that's all. Goodbye, and thank you for hiring the Romero brothers. Wait, what? The Romero brothers? They didn't recognize me. Not at all. <laughs> uh, once again, my wit and... Drunk. Wait a minute. My castle. What were they doing there? Destroying it. That's Domingo! What... <gasps> they took him away! My lovely fish, Domingo! No one messes with you! How now evil! This is personal! Stealing a man's fish. How dare you! How dare you! That is evil. Here used to be my lovely fish, Domingo. I don't want to cut my hand with the broken shards. Okay. It's broken. The tires are flat and everything else is rusty. Alright, so let's see. Do we need anything from in here? Is this locked still? It's the door that leads to my kitchen. The door is closed. I locked a giant rat inside. Well, ain't that something. Let's see if there's anything that they've done in the basement. No, they didn't take them. They just took the fish? What? Now that is stupid. Dan, you got ripped off. Ripped off. Sorry, I can't roll my R's. I wish I could. That'd be awesome. But no, I can't roll my R's at all. Boo-hoo, Okay, um... Did they go into the bedroom? Uh, you know what? It was so dirty, I, I don't even know if they did go into the bedroom, to be honest. But I don't think they did. So, maybe let's just leave then. Anything up? Oh, vent. Uh, the moss on this vent smells terrible. I should clean it someday. <laughs> someday. That's what I say. This is the trash of my castle. I realize now that I produce too much waste for a single demon. Well, how much waste does a single demon have? Maintaining a mushroom garden in good shape is harder than you would expect, but gardening is one of my favorite activities. Besides ruining other people's lives, of course. Of course. I mean, of course. World map. Whoa. Okay, so this is the castle. The mayor's house, the town square. Town center. Town alley and graveyard. I think Sid had talked about going to the town center. So let's do that. To the tavern. Dark woods. What's over here? 
Blind dude? Some guy. <laughs> it's a blind guy outside a bar with a half-made Cuban mojito. Sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. Let's go talk to him. Hi. Who goes there? Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, a fine citizen of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Martin Hawkeye from West Spring. <laughs> so Hawkeye. you're a local, right? Yes. Well, then let me congratulate you. Darkestville is a lovely place. How can you tell? Really? Yeah. The air's so fresh and the climate is perfect. I guess you're right. That reminds me. I have to keep working on that weather machine. <laughs> what is your business in Darkestville? I came here to explore the natural wonders of this lovely town. I'm on vacation. A tourist in Darkestville. Well, that's something new. We don't have many attractions, you know. I don't care about that. As long as the people are friendly and the drinks are cheap, I'm good to go. The good thing about being a blind tourist is that you don't even have to worry about the view when choosing a room. I never thought about the benefits of being blind. Hmm. hmm. Mental note. Return the sight of little Timothy. <laughs> Took away his sight. Ugh. Ah, okay. But he did it in such a way he could return it. Or contemplate returning it. I notice you haven't touched your drink. Yeah, this mojito is kind of lame. The mint they lame, used though. is really old. It's almost tasteless. If you're not going to drink it, may I have it? Nah, I'm going to drink it eventually. Besides, <laughs> even if the drink isn't good, at least I look cool with a drink in my hand, right? No, sure. but then again, you are too blind to notice it. <laughs> you got me there. May I have your drink? No. What are you doing on the street at this time of the night? I went outside the tavern for some fresh air. Why do you ask? Are the streets of Darkestville dangerous? Yes. No, not really. Sadly, the giant mutant chickens are gone. But probably next week, the streets will be dangerous again. There's a shipment of winged tigers on the way. Oh, thanks for the tigers. advice. Where are you staying? At the tavern guest room. But the tavern doesn't have any guest rooms. In fact, there are no hotels in Darkestville. Oh. Maybe it's something new. It was a really small room, but at least it was clean. Were you passing by the tavern kitchen? Yes. That is the cleaning cupboard. That would explain <laughs> the bleachy smell. Indeed. I can't complain. The price was really low, and it included breakfast. Oh, well, in that case. I have other matters to attend to. See you soon. All right, let's go to the tavern. Avon. Get some brew skies. Bernard. Dart board. Trash can. It's a can full of trash. Aptly named, then. It's the tavern dart board. No one has played with it for years. Can we take it, then? The darts are heavily attached to the board, and I cannot remove them. That explains why no one has played with this thing for years. That could certainly be the case. Uh, can't get anything here. Chess board. Talk to Bernard. I would like to... Shh! I'm thinking! Okay, sure. Gerard. Hello! My na... Shut up! We're playing! Alright, well... You guys are just plain rude. I lost interest in this game when I learned that it's against the game's rules to make your chess pieces shoot laser beams at your opponent. What? 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 That that I totally would be a cool agree. game. It would be so much fun to flip the table. But on the other hand, I'm sure Giovanni will beat me if I disturb the peace of his tavern. So I will have to pass. Wuss. It reads, choose from our varied menu, all at the same price. Caramelized duck with bacon, bacon with caramelized duck, duck with caramelized bacon, <laughs> duck with bacon all caramelized with a pinch of pepper, and if you're against the natural order of the world, don't forget to taste our vegetarian option. <laughs> That's a wide and varied menu, I would say. Giovanni, the tavern keeper. We don't mess with this guy. Not only because he's the sole owner of the tavern, which makes him an invaluable provider of different substances, but also because if he gets mad at me, he can break all of my bones. Believe me, it already happened. <laughs> Twice. 
<laughs> yeah, don't mess with him. He's a big burly man who can destroy you, even if you're evil. Hello. Hi. Don't have to be Hecubus to be evil. Hecubus? So, how's the business going? It certainly is not going good, thanks to Dennis and demons like you. Yeah, I'll pay you, but thanks. I appreciate you mistrusting me. <laughs> well, yeah, as a demon. How much do I owe you? It's two silver coins for the pint of beer, 200 gold coins for the six barrels of ethanol. And don't worry about the matches. They were on the house. Do you accept evil card? You know how this works, Sid. Cash only. I don't have the money with me right now. You don't have any more credit here until you pay me. And it would be better for your health if you did it soon. Ooh, a threat. You know, I find there have been places that are cash only, and although I understand wanting to go cashless, I mean, uh, cash only, because then you don't pay credit card processing fees, but honestly, uh, in the the day I'm playing this right now is 2022, and if you don't accept credit card, you are basically throwing away your business from Millennials and Zoomers. Uh, so... I mean, come on, bro. Come on. I would like to place an order. Look, if you want to order something, you better pay your debt first, and I recommend you do it pronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know anything about that stranger over there? You know my policy. I don't like gossip. I don't make questions. As long as you're my customer, I don't care what you do or who you are. Okay, well, that's admirable. I'd better go and get some fresh air outside. See you soon. Are these peanuts free? I think the tavern keeper will not mind if I take some of them. Good. Take all of them. I don't want to carry that around. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sure we could have used it for something. This must be the cleaning cupboard that the blind man was staying in. It's a pretty big guy. He looks kind of intimidating. I bet you he, he's sad. Very sad. Hello. So you are one of the Romero brothers. Yes, I'm Walrus, the muscle of the Romero Aptly brothers. Aptly named. Your name is Dan Teapot, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, it was a pleasure to work for you, sir. You don't find many customers that pay full in advance by mail these days. <laughs> uh... How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. It was easy to figure it out. In your letter, you wrote that you'd be waiting for us outside the castle to help secure the target. Between you and me, I think that putting the demon inside a fish tank was kind of too much. It made everything too easy for us. Uh, sure? Where is that demon you recently captured? We put all the demons we catch inside our demon chest. There they are imprisoned forever in some kind of an alternate dimension or something. What, what, what? I don't get much of that technical stuff. But don't worry, he cannot escape. What if he has some kind of super genius and handsome friend outside trying to help him out? Oh, don't worry. Our sister Foxy already thought about that. The chest requires three keys to open, and each of us only has one key. So it's impossible to open the demon chest without our authorization. Unless... 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 Unless, of course, someone stole each of our keys. But then again, we are the best demon hunters. No one would ever dare to try that. Oh, Except... Oh. Except... Except some kind of idiotic moron with absolutely zero conscience about the consequences of his actions. That's us! But then again, we shouldn't worry about that. If there is such an idiot, we will crush him. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. We, uh, don't have to worry about that. Not at all. Oh. Oh. I would love to see that mysterious key you have. Sorry, but I will only take it out if the rest of the group has to open the chest. So, it must be great to be a demon hunter. Oh, yes. 
You meet a lot of people, do exercise, fight evil, travel the world, and taste new drinks. Sounds fun. It's great! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, Tony the Tiger, calm down. Where's the rest of the team? I'm not sure. I think Foxy is talking with the mayor. And Mongoose must be training somewhere. Mongoose? That lad never rests. All right. Goodbye. I have other matters to attend to. It was a pleasure to talk with you, sir. Interesting. They're the Romero brothers, but they have a sister that comes along with them. Why can't they just be the Romero siblings? And uh, also her name is Foxy. Is that supposed to because she's actually Foxy? I don't think so. What if he punches me back? Scaredy cat. All right, let's uh, let's go to the other side of town here. Looks like this is about as fast as he moves. I guess that's it. That goes that. Uh, let's go to the mayor's house. Old books about public administration and taxing. I already read them when I was running my mayoral campaign. I guess you didn't win, did ya? Did ya? Nope. You did not. Oh, here's the demon chest. Inside that chest is trapped my lovely fish, Domingo. The chest is locked with three locks. I have to find a way to open it. Yes. Yes, we do. Mrs. Johnson, this is the one we nearly scared to death. She's Mrs. Johnson, the mayor's secretary. She may look inoffensive, but she swings her umbrella really hard for a woman of her age. <laughs> hey, I can hear you. What are you saying about my age? Nothing. Nothing. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. May I talk with the mayor? Do you have an appointment? Mmm, yep. Oh, really? Let me check that in the mayor's agenda. No, you haven't. You know, Sid, today was a really long day. Why don't you go play your pranks on someone else? My pranks? My pranks? Please don't insult me, woman. I don't play pranks. I do evil deeds of demonic proportions. Oh, I didn't mean to insult you, honey. But could you go to do your things outside? I heard that Mr. Martinez got a brand new doorbell. I hope no one goes to play Ding Dong Ditch at him. Ding Dong Ditch? Are you suggesting that I use my evil genius to play that childish game? Yes. Yes, we are. What is that big chest doing inside the mayor's house? It's from the three strangers that arrived in town today. They are called the Ramiro brothers. I hear they are demon hunters. If I were you, I would be hiding until they go. Fortunately, we do not need to. What is the mayor doing? He is talking with one of the Ramiro brothers, a woman. I think her name was Foxy. What a name. And why do they call themselves the Ramiro brothers if there is a woman in the group? Right? It should be the Ramiro siblings. That's exactly what I, I said. Maybe it's a marketing thing? I don't know. Maybe. It, it must be, because having a woman on your team means that you Good can't night, be Mrs. the Johnson. best. We'll talk later. Good night, my dear. Right? You can't be the best. Here, the mayor the best. stores his booze. Ooh. Let's open it. The cabinet was depleted for redecoration. Oh, oh wait a minute. They forgot this bottle of... 25-year-old whiskey. Interesting. Uh, take. <laughs> Cursed golden trophy. I cast a gypsy curse on it a few nights ago. The next person who lifts it will turn into a hideous pig. Oh, too late. Too late. Candy container. Take. Yuck. Those candies are too sticky and dirty to carry around. That's what she said. It will mess up my inventory. There's where the mayor stores some of his hunting records and some hunting trophies. Okay, let's uh, open the door. The door is locked. Dang it! All right, well we can't can't go that way. All right, 
let's try the town square. Maybe uh, Mongoose is here. Oh, look! This bird's wearing glasses. Sunglasses. It looks like some kind of insomniac pigeon. It's uh, Alex Wesker. I can't reach it. And then talk what with are you it. doing awake at this time of night, little fellow? I see. You have a night owl complex. <laughs> nice. It's a statue of the founder of the town. I made an artistic intervention on it. He looks much cooler now. Oh, I totally agree. Totally. This thing's broken. Suspicious bench. In this bench, I deployed a trap. The problem is, I don't recall what kind of trap it was. That's why you have to write things down. Jeffrey Bad Sock. Yeah, he must. Yeah, he doesn't have socks, bro. You should rename yourself. It's our local hobo, Jeffrey Bad Sock. He's pretty useful. I've tried all kinds of potions on him ever since I was a little demon. Ah, one of those people that'll drink pretty much anything. Let's talk to Hello. him. Hello, I'm Sid, the demon of darkest. The demon of Jeffrey darkest. Jeffrey Badsock is not drunk enough to know who you are, Sid. I've known you since you were five. Remember that time when you were chasing the town kids with your little flamethrower, and you ended up crying because it ran out of fuel? Yeah. But someone gave me his alcohol so I could have fun with my flamethrower again. Aww, oh, how well, sweet. That's something any decent person would have done. <laughs> you were so small and you looked so sad. <laughs> hey, you remember that time when you were zapping people with a big blue laser gun? Everyone was running so scared. I remember it as if it were yesterday. It was In yesterday. In fact, it was yesterday. Really? Some things never change. Some things never change. And some things do. What are you drinking? Oh, this. It's glue solvent. You it may not be as good as an old red wine, but it's not that bad. What does it taste like? Glue solvent. Awful. But it's still better than water. Y you know, I bet that's a lot of people. Like, oh, I can't drink water. It tastes terrible. So let me drink. I don't know. What's that? What's that stuff called? Crystal light? Blah, blah. If you like crystal light, I'm sorry, but bleh. Can I have some of your glue solvent? Uh-uh. If I give it to you, then what will I drink? Why do you always want random items from other people? Be be because? Are you still turning into a giant purple monster every time you sneeze? Nope. Luckily, the side effects of that thing you gave me to drink faded away. But hey, if you have any more of those flasks, just keep sending them over. That thing was delicious. Well, that's that's the most important thing after all. Did you see anything unusual tonight? I don't recall anything unusual. But maybe a drink will refresh my memory. Look, look, look. Nope, nope. it did not. <laughs> and now I see everything in black and white. Nice. Uh, that could just be because it's dark. Goodbye. Goodbye, champ. Can we trade liquor for the glue? There we go. Wow, this is one of the finest 25-year-old whiskeys ever made. My glue solvent tasted like poison in comparison to this. But it probably Thanks. was. Ha <laughs> grab the solvent. But now, are Hello? you drunk enough to talk to us? He seems to be a little too busy to talk. Okay, never mind. I think there was something we could use the glue glue solvent in at the castle, right? I'm gonna take a quick quick peek. Ah, yes, here we go. The medicine cabinet has got glue, so let's use the glue solvent on a medicine cabinet. Presto! That glue solvent works really quickly. Well, I mean, that's what it's for. I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, 
It's probably what glued the cabinet door on in the first place. Things made with evil goo are so hard to manage. I know, right? It's so terrible. Take the toilet paper. Extra soft, silk textured, mint scented toilet paper. Mint scented? Sleeping pills. All huh. the anecdotes that contain, and then I went for the sleeping pills, are good ones. <laughs> I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, it's probably what glued the cabinet door on in the first place. Things made with evil goo are so hard to manage. Alright, so we ended up with sleeping pills and toilet paper. What that does for us, I have yet to decipher. However, I, what I do know is we need to keep moving around. Uh, I think we still need to find Mongoose, who, uh, at this point, I don't know, is probably in the town alley or the graveyard. Let's go to the town alley. Oh. Doghouse? That is a big, giant doghouse. This is Ruffo's house. The villagers made this doghouse out of spare parts of my discarded inventions. Oh, recycling. That's Ruffo, the guard dog. He seems to be sleeping, but as soon as any stranger walks past his house, he attacks. Sadly, I fall in the stranger category. Oh. I'm almost positive that this door was a part of my machine for creating uncertainty. I discarded it because I was never really sure if the machine actually worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. If you don't understand why that's funny, rewind, okay? You just gotta pay attention. Let's pet the doggy. I know that having a hook instead of a hand would look great on me, but I will pass this time. Oh. Uh, should we use the sleeping pill on him? No, we shouldn't. Okay. That darn dog is guarding his neighborhood. If I walk past his house, he will bite me. All right, well... Or shoot me. Whoa, 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 whoa there. Whoa there, doggy. All right, well, instead, let's go to the graveyard then. Dog with a gun, bro. Oh, there he is. Puddle of mud, ripped. Tim's tombstone. Uncle Tim, you are a great person. Thank you for teaching us that being attached to small, silly material things and hand grenades don't mix well. Oh, well, yeah, not not have if you're hand grenades. That's not a good thing. I have more important matters to attend to. I don't have time to just stare at mud, but somehow I find it relaxing. It's a Zen thing. Someone's tombstone. Yeah. Your name will always be remembered. Tall guy who used to cough a lot at the tavern. <laughs> Your name will always be remembered. Charles, you taught us that you should follow your dreams no matter what. Too bad your dream was to stop cargo trains at full speed with your chin. We will miss you. How is that even supposed to work? Remember me as the non-bald great man I was. Gonzo Smith. Doctor, lawyer, adventurer, good husband, dragon slayer, and king of the East Kingdom. The Compulsive Liar support group will not be the same without you. <laughs> so he was definitely bald then. Pile of bones. A pile of bones with two lovely skulls on top of them. Oh, can we can we take one as a souvenir then? Oh, went around into the foreground. Maybe I can take a bone, but forget about the skulls. They can bite me. Why, well, I, I suppose, yeah, they, they could bite you. Oh, and then the bone must be for the little doggy. It looks like he's training. Hello. Who goes there? Oh, it is you. Dan Teapot, right? Yeah, yeah, you are totally right. I'm him. I mean, it's me, Dan. And you are? I'm Mongoose Romero, and I'm the Dan. of the Romero brothers. I am. I am totally Dan. Dan guy, online. <laughs> How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. 
Well, you told us you'd be wearing a distinctive hat. Ah, uh, yes, of course, my hat. In my opinion, it would have been easier to recognize you if we knew that you're constantly wearing a weird smiley mask. By the way, why are you wearing that mask? Oh uh, yeah, a mask. That's because I'm a really shy guy. Good cover. I can't talk with strangers if I'm not wearing my mask. I have mental issues. <laughs> mental problems, of course. That explains the payment in advance. <laughs> Even they are like, dude, what the hell? You paid us in advance? What did you are, are you are you mentally ill? What are you doing in the middle of the night at the cemetery? Me. Training, of course. We must always be ready for battle. You never know when you're going to find a ghost, a demon, or worse. It could be the big pie raptor. Hi, Raptor. The big Pie Raptor? Where? Oh, so you've never heard of him. The Big Pie Raptor is a maniacal purple velociraptor that throws apple pies at unsuspecting people. That doesn't sound so bad. doesn't sound that threatening. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you say that now, my lad, but if one night you're all alone in a dark alley and you perceive a shadowy reptilian figure running and the foul stench of apple pie infects the air, foul? you better not come crying to me. But I understand you. I was once like you. A reckless young man. I also didn't believe in the Big Pie Raptor. Until... Until... That sad night. I remember it as if it were yesterday. I was going to a dance party with my brand new white suit. When I saw him, it was already too late. I already had three apple pies all over me. I tried all kinds of stain removers, but nothing worked. I one pen. day, one day I will have my revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. Whatever you say, bub. Just calm down. <laughs> sweet, sweet revenge. About that demon I hired you to hunt for. Where is it? Oh, that. It's in our demon chest. But don't worry, it will not be bothering you again. It's locked with three locks. And each of us is guarding a different key. There's no way it can be opened without our unanimous consent. So, I wonder if we have to eventually get them to all open it together. Do you have any idea where the rest of your team is? Or if we have to steal it? I guess it. that Walrus is in the tavern, drinking. And Foxy, she had an appointment with the mayor of Darkestville. I guess she had to do some paperwork. Paperwork? Paperwork. Your friends told me you could lend me the trust key you have. There must be a misunderstanding. We are not allowed to give our keys to anyone. I'm pretty sure they... Misunderstanding. Okay. Alright, well. Uh, don't need to be that forceful. Hey, look! It's the big pie, Raptor! Over there! Where? Where? It's hiding inside the crypt! I just saw it! At last! You are cornered, you filthy apple pie carrying animal. Wait, wait a minute. I've already been through this a couple of times. What are you talking about? Walrus probably told you to tell me so that he can laugh at my disappointed face. Oh. I will not fall for that again. <laughs> I just saw it. Oh yeah. Do you have a photo, footprints, a piece of pie or something else to prove it? No, not really. Then tell Walrus I'll not fall for that this time. Alright, well then. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, and stay vigilant. Stay vigilant. Right. Well, let us go to the crypt. Let's grab the crypt. <laughs> Evidently, I can't carry a crypt around. But why not? It's the cemetery crypt. It's too dark to see inside there, and the crypt ladder steps are too tall. Which is a terrible combination. Or a perfect combination if you're planning to throw someone through the ladder. But wouldn't that just be evil? I'm sorry, evil. Alright, so... 
Let's try the Maris house again. Is there something in here that could help us? I don't know. Oh yeah, let's use the bicycle horn. That nearly gave her a heart attack, right? So let's give that a try. And we'll write her name in the book. <laughs> Once again, I've struck terror into the heart of the people of Darkestville. You want to kill me from a heart attack? Yes. Give me that thing. And don't you ever dare do that again. All right, we lost the uh, the horn, but we have now have the agenda. Who would have believed that Darkestville Castle had a political agenda? All right. Uh, I need to write in it. Here, Mrs. Johnson keeps the mayor's daily schedule. Okay. That's, 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 that's not enough. That's not enough. I need a pen or something. Um, I guess we could just try giving it back to her, but I feel like we should probably write our name in it. Toy Soldier. I used to collect these things, but then I found out I'm allergic to the cheap alloy they're made of. Oh, so you won't take it then? I'd rather not. I'm allergic to this kind of cheap alloy. Alright, uh, 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 uh. right, let's, um, let me try giving it back to her real quick, and he'll probably say that we need to write in it first. I can't use the agenda there. Okay, well, uh, that's, that's good to know. So... I think what we need to do is use the bone on the doggy. I can't use the bone there. What? What? I can't use the bone there. I can't use the bone there. Okay. The barrel is filled with a mess of rope. All right, can we take the rope? It's too messy and heavy to carry around. Okay, well. Uh, well, then we can't... We don't have access to this section, then. Hmm. You know what? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it a day here. Yeah. I think this video has gone on long enough. I think we'll pick it up in the next one. I am liking the game so far. It is very lighthearted. It's very funny. Punny, you might say. Uh, I like the character. Sid is very interesting. He is very hilarious. Uh, they've got a lot of jokes, and it's just, it's nice to not be in an emotional wreck after a game. <laughs> like, in a good way, of, of course, but just, like, still an emotional, like, ah. So, I am having a great time. I hope you are as well. And if you are, please come back for the next episode. Come chill with me as we play this game. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, bye.